Hi guys, I just want to give you an update about sa allowed calculator for engineering board exam. So this is probably going to be our guide at least from this year or until next year. No? Well, of course, we will be waiting kung magkakaroon ng mga bagong announcement from PRC. Well, if you're already our subscriber, then most probably napanood na ninyo yung aming mga previous video about allowed calculator for engineering board exam. So, una, inilabas namin itong video na to kung saan ipinakita natin yung list ng allowed calculator for board exam. Ang list na to ay galing sa website ng PRC. And dito sa video na to, we recommended the calculator FX570 ES Plus from Casio to be used in board exam. And then marami kaming nakuhang feedback dahil nagsasabi na hindi raw allowed ang FX570 ES Plus sa engineering board exam. Kaya nilabas namin itong panibagong video na to. And dito sa video na to, sinabi natin that FX570 ES Plus is still allowed in board exam except for civil engineering. So, let us review kung ano yung mga napapaloob dito sa ating video. So, sumulat ako sa PRC and then tinatanong ko kung allowed ba yung Casio FX570 ES Plus second edition sa engineering board exam. Dahil alam namin na hindi ito allowed sa civil engineering. Yan nga yung napapaloob dito sa ating video. No? Pinakita natin dyan yung story uh, kung bakit tayo nag-send ng, video, ng uh, letter sa PRC asking for this question. And then, nakareceive tayo dito ng dalawang sagot galing sa PRC. First, uh, regarding your concern, the said calculator above is allowed as long as it is not programmable. And then, another reply is saying that it is allowed except civil engineering. So, Allow ditong calculator natin na FX570 ES Plus second edition sa board exam except sa civil engineering. Okay, so nabanggit na natin 'yan sa ating previous video, no? And in fact, if you already watch yung interview natin kay Engineer Jeffrey Palcone on the recent chemical engineering board exam, ito lang October 2021, this is actually yung calculator na ginamit niya, no? Yung FX570 ES Plus Second Edition. So, that means this is allowed sa engineering board exam. Pero, syempre, dahil luma nga ang ginagamit nating list ng allowed calculator sa PRC website, syempre, may mga nagtatanong. It is dated 2004. So, iba na po ngayon. Actually, he is correct because matagal na nga itong uh, list of allowed calculator na nasa PRC website. Pero ang tanong is, meron na nga bang bagong list? Okay? So, tignan muna natin kung ano ba yung tinutukoy nating list sa website ng PRC. Okay, so ito yung list ng allowed calculators sa website ng PRC. Okay, so makikita ninyo dito yung uh, mga allowed calculator. Pero, this is published or dated March 4, 2004. And totoo na this is not reliable anymore. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung bakit. Ano. This is the list, no? And according to this list, these are allowed. So, meron tayo ditong Casio Standard Desktop Scientific Calculators. And in here, makikita ninyo yung, or here, FX911ES and FX991ES+. So, that means allowed siya dito sa list ng calculators galing sa PRC website, no? But, on the recent Chemical Engineering Board exam, itong October 2021, tignan natin kung ano yung instruction. So, meron tayo ditong, uh, makikita ninyo to sa website din ng PRC, no? PRC.gov.ph, so ito yung link niya. Uh, this is the program of the Chemical Engineering Licensure Examination in Manila, Baguio, Iloilo, Davao, Ligaspi, Cagayan de Oro, and Cebu Cities on October 3, 4, 5, 2021. 20, so, recent lang to, no? Because now, ang date natin is November 10, okay? As of writing ng ating uh, video ngayon. Okay, so, tignan natin kung ano yung sinasabi ninyo nila tungkol sa calculator. Okay. 
The following items are strictly prohibited inside the examination premises or rooms. Books, notes, review materials, and other printed materials containing coded data, information, or formula. Calculators which are programmable or with embedded functions, especially Casio FX991ES and Casio FX991ES Plus is prohibited. Okay, so special mention itong Casio FX991ES and Casio FX991ES Plus which is allowed according to the list from 2004. So that means hindi na siya updated or hindi natin siya pwedeng gawing batayan ng mga allowed calculators. So ano yung pwede nating gawin? No? So, so of course, what we can do is to ask PRC kung meron ba silang updated list. So yan ang ginawa natin. So what I did is sumulat ulit tayo sa PRC. So sabi natin, I would like to inquire if there is an updated list of allowed calculators for engineering board exam. I am trying to search on PRC website but the list was old, dated since 2004. The only updated list found is for civil engineering board exam. Is there any updated list for engineering board exam in general? Thank you very much. Hoping for your response. So, yung sinasabi natin dito ang updated list only for civil engineering. Naipakita ko na rin yan sa previous video natin. Ano? Pero ipakita uli natin. So, ito yung list ng non-programmable calculators galing sa PRC website. But, this is specifically for civil engineer lang. So, you cannot uh, use this as a basis sa ibang engineering board exam. Kaya dito, makikita mo, wala dito yung FX 570 ES Plus Second Edition. Okay, because FX 570 ES Plus is not allowed in civil engineering board exam. Okay, so ito, na-release lang ito last year lang, which is May 2020. So, hindi na inalaw yung calculator na FX 570 ES Plus. So, yung civil engineering, meron silang updated list. Nandito yan sa website ng PRC, no? May kita ninyo dito sa link na yan. Pwede nyong bisitahin. Pero dito sa ating letter, naghahanap tayo ng updated list for engineering board exam in general. No? So, lahat ng engineering field. And this is the reply from PRC. Okay, the list of allowed calculators on PRC website is not updated. Kindly bring and use other non-programmable calculator to prevent problems on examination day. All calculators used by examinees are subject for inspection of room watchers or floor supervisor and building supervisor. So, we cannot really use yung nandun sa website ng PRC because hindi nga siya updated. However, we can use this guide kapag uh, bibili tayo ng calculator or gagamit tayo ng calculator for board exam. Make sure na ang bibili nating calculator is not programmable. Okay, so that will be our basis kung ano yung calculator na allowed for board exam. We cannot really rely dun sa list na nasa website ng PRC. And for now, wala pa rin tayong updated list ng mga allowed calculator for engineering board exam. Now, kung meron kayong mga tanong, kung gusto nyo malaman kung allowed ba yung calculator na to or ganyan, then maybe you can ask directly yung PRC. And they are really responding fast. So, katulad nitong nakikita ninyo dito, no? When I send my mail, they respond after 30 minutes. So, hindi siya matagal. Mabilis silang sumagot. So, if you have any question, maybe you can ask them. But I think yung binibigay nilang guide will be enough for us kung pipili tayo ng calculator. And we will be repeating kung ano yung sinabi namin sa previous video. The best calculator to use is yung alam na alam mong gamitin. Kaya pinakamaganda, kung ano yung gagamitin mong calculator sa board exam, pag-aralan mo na ngayon pa lang habang estudyante ka, yun na yung gamitin mo para kamay na gamay mo na yung calculator during board exam. Kasi mahirap kung kailang board exam na nagpalit ka pa ng calculator at hindi mo kabisado kung paano gamitin. Okay, so ito yung magiging guide natin guys. Make sure that your calculator is not programmable. So, I hope nakatulong itong video natin. And this is the third part na, no, tungkol sa calculator for board exam. So, kapag nagkaroon tayo ng mga bagong updates, we're going to inform you. But for now, that is all. And thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.